It sounds like they really liked the movie. It does, doesn't it? It's like they really liked it. Thanks, guys. That, that was a lovely welcome. Thank you. A Texan welcome. So what'd you guys think? <laughs> I thought it was going to be, I didn't like it. I, just, I didn't like it. I didn't much care for it. Uh, oh, that's, that's a lovely compliment. Thank you very much. I, I know none of you really want to hear my voice, so I, I just want to open it up for questions a little bit first, and then I have a couple of things, but I did want the audience to get a chance to ask questions. I know you guys really want to. So I know we have a runner microphone. Union, are you around? Now he's gone for a drink. He's out. Somewhere. But we do have Curtis up here with the microphone, so I would like to actually give the microphone to whoever's going to ask questions so that we can not only hear you in the recording, but also just so they can hear you. It's, it is kind of hard to hear. So I, the, someone raised their hand right over here. There we go. Right there in the back, Curtis. I'll do, I'll do my best. To All right. You. You're doing great. The movie was beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. And the cast was so in their excellence. Since you both are here, did you make most of your choices? Go ahead. <laughs> You're the lead. Oh. Um, well, thank you. That's lovely. I'm um, really glad you liked it. Um, I really feel like with this movie, because I don't know if you're aware, but uh, Simon Fitzmaurice, the director, he, he has MND, uh, modern neuron disease, so he communicates through a computer. And uh, because of that, his speech is very, very slow. And it, it, we really have to trust each other. You know, we had to trust him to tell us what he wanted. And then he had to trust us to just be these characters. So um, I, I certainly felt there was more artistic license for the actors and more exploration because and Simon said that to me when he started because I was I was really anxious you know I loved the script and I really admired him and I wanted to do a good job and I just I, I, I was always looking to him to be like it, are you happy is this is this how you felt this Emily you know to you and he just said I feel like I did the casting and that's my job done and that was kind of such a relief to be like we we're we're collaborators on this it's not me telling you what to do it's exploring together yeah yeah what she said <laughs> that's a good answer i'll just uh, copy and paste that onto mine <laughs> yeah it's the same thing i mean personally i'm quite a um, i rely quite heavily on a director as an actor i sort of come in with a blank slate or my, my natural position is like a, a comedic spin on whatever the line is or whatever the, the scene is. And Simon was quite good at drawing that back in me and making it a little bit more sincere. I'm not a terribly sincere man. And uh, yeah, he brought that out in me. And I think that's the, the sign of a, of a great director is someone who can bring something out in you that you don't necessarily see in yourself. And I think he, I think he, I think he did that. He's an incredible director, as you just saw. Well, thank you for that background. That, so now it makes sense. You were all doing telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> we also had rehearsal beforehand, which is rare on a movie. You often just meet people on the day. But we had a couple weeks rehearsal. And um, that was the thing about this movie. Because of uh, how he's inhibited by you know, the, the screen and how long it takes for him to say something, he, he really, the preparation was key, and just, um, yeah, build, building relationships with each other was important, especially with him, yeah. Well, thank, you. thank you. Thank you for your question. Great, beautiful job. Thank you. Thank you. Another question? Well, right, at the back, back. right back there in the back. Yep, there we go. Uh, you're next, I saw you. Hello, guys. <laughs> Hello. My name's Eric. Hello, Eric. Uh, very charming film. You two look really. It's nice to see your relationship blossom on the screen. Um, I think you guys take an issue that's you know, about death or sadness, and it doesn't really get too too dark. And I really appreciate that. I think, especially with the imagery and um, and the youthfulness of it. Uh, I know that um, the filmmaker is not here. The writer director. Have, did you ever get a chance to uh, to find out what what the backstory was with with uh, with 
script about who Emily, you know, like origin of like Emily and the death of the mother and the institution and where the father is taken? Like, do you know where that all came from? Um, I don't know about the origin. Like, I, I, it just baffled me when I first met him that he chose to focus like, on, you know, using a free female protagonist and it wasn't his story, because his story is amazing. He actually has a book about his experiences, his life, and it, I don't know why he didn't want to shoot that, to be honest, I think anyone else would. Um, but uh, he, he just always said to me that Emily was him, um, that, he, he, that, that those were the words he wanted to say, you know? Um, and that, I don't know, and, and then if you watch his other movies, he has another short film, Hands of People, right? Yeah, swimming? I'm right. Is I'm it right. something about swimming? Yeah, <laughs> swimming so, with people. So water <laughs> is a is a big is a big theme in his work because I think he he finds like Emily he finds water terrifying and it brings you to the edge and it brings up a lot of emotions and you know it's so immersive and um, so yeah that's something that's another theme but I I, genu I genuinely don't know and I don't think he even knows where the whole story came from. Um, yeah, he. Yeah, I, I th he's, he's such a creative mind is it's quite hard to sort of patch into his genius and he is that I don't use that term lightly he is a genius when he sort of gives us direction it's not just like uh, do it better uh, do it quicker he's he writes these amazing just tapestries of words that only you get as an actor because he doesn't he doesn't necessarily have to vocalize it by his computer you can literally go behind him and just read it and they're usually just passages of like incredible insight into the human psyche and so to, to try and delve into that and take it apart and be like where did you get this idea from would be impossible he's just is he's, he's, he's amazing he, he does say though and i find this interesting because i've done a few interviews with him and we will be asked the question at the start of the interview what's this movie about and we say completely different things <laughs> because it means something to something different to everyone else but he has said that the movie's about redemption. It's about everything being taken away from you and still, you know, cl claiming your identity and who you are. Um, and that is something Simon has gone through, you know. He's, his, his, mov his movement was stripped away. His speech, everything that he used except for words to communicate was stripped away from him. And, and I think that's how he feels. That's what Emily is representing, you know, her, her, her mother, her family life, her dad, all of that that was all the past that made her who she was is gone, and she's 16 and trying to figure out who that is again. Um, so yeah, he says redemption. That, I, that I makes a lot of sense, actually, because at the, sorry. I'll no, go for it, Eric. No. <laughs> Falls in your court, mate, so, go I for mean, it. I mean, to know that this, the filmmaker himself doesn't have his own voice, and then at the end of the film, Emily says um, that she, she suddenly she's, she, she can speak, and she, what, you know, she, one day you realize that you are you, and you have the power to use your voice, and I think that's very inspiring, actually, because I think it's, I'm a filmmaker, I'm here with a film myself, and becoming a filmmaker, um, you learn as you go along that you have to start to uh, say what you believe and and to speak up and, you know, ask questions, and that's why I have this microphone in my hand right now. I mean, that's what you get from Simon's wisdom, that, like, because he's so, he has faced death so many times, so even on set, and we found this beautiful, he would just call us over and he'd be like, George, you know, and his, his machine is very, his, his voice yeah, is, it's, uh, it's a robot. Stephen Hawking, did you ever see that? It's basically he, he like being directed by Stephen Hawking. Yeah, yeah, and he will call you over and he'll, Ivana, and he will say, I love you. And it's just, it was such a beautiful thing. It's like, nobody else says that because nobody else, none of my other friends have faced death. They don't know what it is like to actually be on the edge and realize, oh, I need to say all these things. So he really speaks from his heart. He doesn't have that kind of censor because he, he doesn't care anymore. He's, he's, he's had too many obstacles and too many of those, yeah. Yeah, he, 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 that, that is his voice. I mean, I think a lot of us, <laughs> I don't know if it's the same over here, but there's a big fear about something, something like motor neurons disease where we can sort of have a, an image of, if, one, if that happened to me, you know what, switch off the machine. I don't want to be seen like that, a vegetable or whatever like that. And it, it, in Simon's book, it, there's a passage about, he was very much like that. He saw things like that as, I'd never want to live like that. That's no life at all. But as soon as he was diagnosed with it, he got this overwhelming rush of, I want to live. I, I want to live, I want to live, I want to live. And people around him weren't necessarily on board with that. They're like, this is, this is
is a, a death sentence. What are you doing? And he's just like, I want to live. And his voice as a filmmaker, I think, comes through that adversity. I mean, the film he made before was incredible. The little short that he made that it played at Sundance was incredible. But his voice as a filmmaker definitely came through that that power. I think that is, that's what filmmaking is, isn't it? It's taking your experiences or your influences and trying to channel it into something that people can enjoy, hopefully. I, I don't know if anybody had time to research, Simon, and I hope that you did, but I did print a, a couple of quotes, and I printed them and brought them up here because I knew I couldn't remember them, and I wanted to honor the quotes that I read, and it, it kind of falls in here, but one of them is, when all of this happened, it was my writing that saved me. When my life fell apart, my writing was there for me. I became a writer through my darkest days, and like writing, the passion of a filmmaker has never left me. Deep, man. I wish I came up with that. <laughs> so, yeah. Any other questions? Right here in the front. Wait, I'm sorry. I told him in the back that I would. Yes. Thank you, Anthony. You bet. Uh, I was uh, just wondering about the people, the young people who played the same characters who were younger, and I, I thought they were so striking in their resemblance to you that I wa had to ask if they were related to you. No, they weren't. You have to tell them about young Arden, though. He was so funny. He, yeah, the little, actor. his name was Kai, the guy who played Kai little... Kai Power, little yeah, the best Kai, movie star he, name. His name is Kai heard. Powers. <laughs> <laughs> if this kid Hollywood, is going to be a movie go, star, then go. I don't know why I'm like, <laughs> Kai Power is in Lethal Weapon 9. He is... <laughs> and he, yeah, at me at that age, he was like a, a dramatically better looking version of me. I've got quite an odd face if you haven't seen it on there. It's all wonky a bit if they shoot it weird. And he, but his eyes were like my eyes in his tiny little face. And that was literally just by casting. That was, I'd never met the kid before in my life. He was there just playing with his action figures in his, in his trailer. Like I, I was doing the same thing in the trailer next to him. But yeah. But there was one scene, the scene where he's in bed and the, and the, the mum is checking his oh, temperature. Yeah. <laughs> and um, oh, it was so funny. They were trying to get him to look, um, to look more sad. Sad, yeah. But then he kept doing this. <laughs> Which is a sad face. And they, they were just like, not so sad. And, and he just, oh, he would be. I had to him. leave, it was that funny, I had to leave the room. I was watching for the monitors and he was <laughs> like trying to direct a five year old child to be like, really feel the emotion. He's like. <laughs> they loved that. Eh? I know, it was, great. it was great. But your, Sarah was incredible for you as well. Yeah, Sarah, she was amazing. Um, yeah, she, she, I mean, she just. They, they auditioned them thoroughly, like they had a, like three, four rounds. And yeah. I mean, I don't know how they dealt with that kind of pressure as, as, as kids. <laughs> you know, just put them on the set and do it. But yeah, no, they were great. Don't know what else to say. <laughs> well, the film is fantastic. It's nominated for eight Irish Television and Film Awards. Congratulations. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, we really look forward to what you guys are doing next. So Thank please you. keep us abreast of what's we'll happening. We'll be back. We've, yes. we've fallen in love with Victoria tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate you doing an Irish film on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Appreciate Saint all the Patty's speckles Day. of green around in the audience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it was totally coincidental, but thanks for giving me the credit that I actually was smart enough to think that. We have something we want to give to you. Um, you're leaving tomorrow, and we're really sad. But um, our award ceremony is Saturday night, and then since you're not going to be here, you have won Best Actress Award, and we felt like we really wanted to give you the award. Oh, woo! <laughs> Go Be Evie! Before, before you left, because each year, with everybody's busy schedule, Sometimes the actors or directors aren't able to make it, so we're very happy to present you with the Best Actress Award this year. Oh, amazing. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you. That is my first Best Actress Award. Wow. Um, th thank you. I, I, I really have had a great time here, and I, I'm really inspired by the people I've met. You know, I've, um, I've, I've done a few of these things, and but I, I, find, I almost find, like, the more niche these festivals are, the more passionate these people are, and it inspires me to not just think about the industry, to think about, you know, what drives you, the, the actual love for it. Um, yeah, thank you. I'm really, really touched, and I'm really glad that you like the movie. Yeah. Can well, we eat off this? Can you Absolutely. put food in this? 
Absolutely. You can do whatever Quesos, you... Quesos, right? That's a thing. Yes, put some queso in yeah. that thing in the VIP room. Thank you. I'm going <laughs> to... All right, so you guys stick around. We have a, a great selection of films this year, and thank you all for coming out and supporting the film festival. It's our fifth year, and we really appreciate all of you, all of our sponsors, all of our volunteers, and Elizabeth. Thanks a lot, and stick around for the horror shorts at 10 o'clock. And if you're VIPs, don't miss the VIP party where Ryan Casada will be playing at Gary Brantman's house. Is there a free bar? There is. There is. I'm and so there is, uh, the, the food trucks will be, there will be a food truck there. What's the name of the food truck, Elizabeth? At Brantman's. GB. What's the, what's the food truck? Irish coffee. Irish coffee. Yeah! yeah! Oh, the morning to you, right. <laughs> Enough said. 804 West Power. If you have your VIP badge, bring it. And, and if you don't, you can pick one up at the uh, front there. Great idea. Good director right there, really channeling the, uh, the sales. But thanks a lot. Thanks, Appreciate guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. And thank you guys for making Appreciate the long trip and coming to Victoria. We are so happy to have you all here.